नंबर सिस्टम अ सेट इज अ वेल डिफाइंड कलेक्शन ऑफ नॉन रेपिटेटिव ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेल डिफाइंड मींस इट मस्ट बी एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर दैट व्हिच ऑब्जेक्ट बिलोंग्स टू द सेट एंड व्हिच डज नॉट फॉर एग्जांपल अ कलेक्शन ऑफ सिंगर्स ऑफ क्लास 7 इज अ सेट नॉन रिपीटेटिव ऑब्जेक्ट्स मींस नो एलिमेंट शुड बी रिपीटेड इन अ सेट For example take the set of letters in the word malayalam though there are 9 letters in this word only m a l y is taken others are just the repetition of the same letters representation of a set sets can be represented in the following methods 1 description method 2 roster method or tabular method 3 rule method or set builder form description method in this method the elements of a set are well described and the description is enclosed in curly brackets for example A is equal to the months of a year in curly brackets. B is equal to the names of students of class 6C in curly brackets. Roster method or tabular form. In this method, the elements of a set are listed within curly brackets and separated by commas. For example, X is equal to April. may june july within curly brackets y is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 within curly brackets rule method or set builder form in this method a variable say x is used to represent any element of a set followed by a property satisfied by each element of the set and is enclosed in curly bracket for example a is equal to x such that x is a vowel of english alphabet b is equal to y such that y is a day of a week these symbols stand for such that cardinal number of a set the number of distinct elements present in a finite set is called the cardinal number of the set in a set a it is denoted by n brackets a if a is equal to a e i o u within curly brackets then n of a is equal to 5 if b is equal to the letters in the word student then n of b is equal to 7 different types of sets equivalent set two sets are equivalent if they have the same number of elements for example if f is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 and g is equal to 10 12 18 20 22 then n of f is equal to n of g is equal to 5 that is sets f and g are equivalent equal set two sets are equal if they both have the same members example if f is equal to 20 60 80 and g is equal to 80 60 20 then f is equal to g that is both sets are equal empty set a set containing no elements is called an empty set or a null set 
the symbol of empty set is an empty curly bracket. The cardinal number of empty set is zero. Finite set. A set is said to be finite set if the number of elements can be determined. Some of the finite sets are M is equal to students in your class. N is equal to the alphabets of English language. Infinite sets. A set is said to be infinite set if it has unlimited number of elements. For example, set of natural numbers n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Set of whole numbers w is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. In both the examples, we see that the elements are infinite, that is, the number of elements are not fixed. So, set N and set W are infinite sets. Disjoint set Two sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they do not have any element in common. Example a is equal to x such that x is a prime number. B is equal to x such that x is a composite number. Clearly, A and B do not have any element in common and are disjoint sets. Overlapping set Two sets A and B are said to be overlapping if they contain at least one element in common. Example A is equal to A, B, C, D. B is equal to A, E, I, O, U. Here A is common in both the sets. So set A and set B are called overlapping sets. Operation on sets Difference of two sets If A and B are two sets, then A-B will be the set of elements present in A but not in B. In the same way, B-A will be the set of elements present in B but not in A. For example, if A is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and B is equal to 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, then A-B is equal to 4, 5, 8. Similarly, B-A is equal to 9, 10, 11. Union of sets. Union of two given sets is a set which contains all the elements of both the sets. The union of two given sets A and B is a set which consists of all the elements of A and all the elements of B such that no element is repeated. The symbol for denoting Union of sets is as shown on the screen. For example, set A is equal to 3, 6, 9, 12. Set B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Then A union B is equal to 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12. Note that the element 6 is coming in both the sets but it is written only once in A union B. Intersection of sets The intersection of two given sets A and B is a set 
which consists of all the elements which are common to both A and B. The symbol for denoting intersection of sets is an inverted letter U. For example, set A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and set B is equal to 3, 5, 7, 9. In these two sets, the elements 3 and 5 are common. The set containing these common elements, that is 3, 5, is the intersection of set A and B. Subset if A and B are two sets and every element of set A is also an element of set B, then A is called a subset of B and we write it as A subset of B. Symbolically, it is written as shown on the screen. Let A be 1, 2, 3 and B be 0, 1, 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we see that every element of set A is an element of set B. So we can say A is a subset of B. The symbol C stands for is a subset of or is contained in. Let us consider two sets A and B. A is equal to 1, 2, 3. B is equal to 1, 2, 3. They are actually the same sets but referred with different names. In this case, A subset B and B subset A or in other words, every set is a subset of itself. Let us consider two sets as shown on the screen. A is equal to is an empty set. B is equal to 1, 2, 3. We observe that there is no element in set A that is not in set B. So, set A is a subset of set B. Empty set is a subset of every set. Consider two sets A and B as shown on the screen. All elements in A are in B. So, A subset B, which means A is a subset of B or A is contained in B. Consider two sets A and B as shown on the screen. All elements in B are in A. So, B subset A means B is contained in A. Superset Whenever a set A is a subset of set B, we say that B is a superset of A and we write it this way. Superset can be remembered as the parent set and the subset can be remembered as the child set. A contains all green vegetables and B contains only beans and spinach. A is the superset of B. This symbol is used to denote is a superset of. For example, if set A is equal to A, E, I, O, U and set B is equal to A, B, C and so on till Z. Here A is a subset of B but B is a superset of A. Proper subset If A and B are two sets then A is called the proper subset of B. When A is a subset of B and B is a superset of A, that is A, 
is not equal to B. This symbol is used to denote proper subset. For example, if set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, N of A is equal to 4. And set B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, N of B is equal to 5. We observe that all the elements of A are present in B. But the element 5 of B is not present in A. So, we say that A is a proper subset of B. Symbolically, we write it as A proper subset of B. Subsets of a given set. Consider A is equal to 7, 8, 10. And let us list all subsets of this given set. The elements of A are 7, 8, 10. Whenever we have to list the subsets of any set, the method is to start from the smallest subset and subsequently move to the largest. So, the first subset is the empty set. Next, we will list the subset with one element as shown on the screen. Next is the subset with two elements. Lastly, the largest possible subset will have three elements. All the subsets are shown on the screen. In this method of listing the subsets, we start with the null set and end with the original set itself. Also, we can see that the list contains eight subsets. So, in general, if a set contains n elements, then the number of subsets of the set is 2 to the power n. Here, the set A has 3 elements. So, the number of subsets is 2 to the power 3, which is equal to 8. All the subsets of any set other than the set itself is called the proper subset of that set. The symbol of a proper subset is as shown on the screen. So, we can say that if a set contains n elements, then the number of proper subsets of the set is 2 to the power n minus 1. Let us consider an example. 1. If a is 1, 3, 5, then write all the possible subsets of A. Find their numbers. Solution. The subset of A containing no elements. The subset of A containing one element each. 1, 3, 5. The subset of A containing two elements each. 1, 3. 1, 5. 3, Comma 5. The subset of A containing 3 elements 1, 3, 5. Therefore, all possible subsets of A are 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5. Therefore, Number of all possible subsets of A is 8. Proper subsets are Empty set 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 3, 5. Number of proper subsets are 7 is equal to 8 minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power 3 minus 1. 